Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first video for my college series and I wanted to make a college series because I've been getting some questions about um, college and just random questions so I thought I would make this college series to help you guys out a little bit. And so for today's video, I will be talking about college essentials that I believe are very important if you're going to be living in a dorm room. I'm not going to talk so much about essentials like bed sheets and um, notebooks and a fridge or anything like that. Those are pretty common. So I'm going to talk more about essentials that you aren't very aware of that you need so if you guys want to learn about some essentials that are important for living in a college dorm then definitely just keep watching all right so I just kind of want to give a small background about my college experience before moving on to this video so that you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from so for my past year I did live in the dorm for a whole year and my dorm room um, I shared a room with another girl and then we had a sink in our room and then everyone on our floor shared a big bathroom we also had a kitchen that we all shared Shared, so that's what the layout was kind of like also for most colleges they require you to buy a meal plan and I bought the cheapest meal plan because they were really really pricey and I wasn't a big fan of the cafeteria food so I just kind of cooked for myself so that's how I kind of lived in the dorm room so yeah I just kind of wanted to give you guys that little background so you guys kind of know how I lived and what my layout was kind of like so let's just go ahead and move on to the college essentials All right, so I just made up a list of things that I found were very very helpful and the first thing is a shower caddy the one that I had was it was kind of like netted it was like a bag and I just put like my shampoos my face wash and my like loofah and all of those good things um, you can definitely go ahead and get those plastic ones that a lot of people like you can get them at like Target or Walmart whatever I got mine from dormco.com so a shower caddy is handy because you can just put all of your shampoos and everything in one spot just grab it when you go to the bathroom and you're pretty much done you don't have to carry all of your shampoos and stuff in your hands and have everything dropping everywhere so a shower caddy is very very handy the next thing is shower shoes this is extremely extremely important especially if you're going to be sharing a bathroom with a lot of other people because again you don't know what's on the ground um, for the girls bathrooms there was a lot of hair all over the place because of course we're girls and our hair sheds a lot and um, like the sinks will get clogged up and there's just like water Water all over the floor you don't know what's on the floor you don't know what's on other people's feet or their shoes um, so definitely just protect yourself by getting any kind of shower shoe I just wore my really old like um, Old Navy flip-flops they're really good just go to Old Navy they're like a dollar and just get something cheap you don't really want to wear anything and expensive because it's gonna get wet and it's gonna um, probably get damaged so just get any cheap um, flip-flop it's gonna work fine as a shower shoe. Okay this next essential are command hooks and I'm pretty sure most colleges they don't um, allow you to punch holes into the walls so command hooks are super super um, useful because then you can use them to hang your keychains or notes or calendars or anything like that and command hooks are awesome because um, they don't leave damage on your walls because if you damage your wall you might get charged at the end of the year so just definitely try not to damage your wall and command hooks they come in a variety of sizes and shapes and types of hooks so it's super handy if you guys need to hang anything up on the wall I really recommend utilizing the wall I have a video showing you guys how I kind of made over my desk area by utilizing wall storage so I will leave that link down below if you guys are interested but yeah definitely recommend getting command hooks and um, they're a lot more useful than you think they are because you want to hang up your towels and everything like that and you just again you can't poke any hole into the wall so command hooks are super super handy all right so the next essentials is very important for me if you guys like being organized and having everything in one spot i really really recommend getting a planner or a calendar or both um, I have my planner I have it right here so this is my planner you guys all know I have the doki book but I do have a separate planner for school a planner is just really handy to put everything like your assignments your quiz um, anything that you need regarding school because with like five classes six classes and labs and lectures everything like that it's good to just be organized put all of the dates down all the due dates and everything like that and also if you guys want to it's definitely good to have a calendar I would put it right above the desk where you work a lot you can write down um, notes like again assignments and whatnot especially for taking online classes online classes can be harder to keep track of because you don't go to class and a teacher isn't 
physically there to tell you that you have an assignment due on Friday. So it's good to have a calendar so that you can write it down and then um, if you forget to log on to your online class, you can see on your calendar and know that you have like a quiz due on Friday or whatever. So definitely recommend getting a planner or a calendar. Alright, next up is a great money saver and it is a water filter. It's kind of like bottle or container. Um, mine was the Brita, I believe. I got it from my sister. You can get them at Target or Walmart. They're pretty affordable. If anyone knows me, I don't like drinking tap water. I just hate that tap water taste. Um, so at the beginning of the year, I would always go to Target and buy their big packs of water bottles. They're really cheap. They're like less than four dollars for a big pack of water bottles however throughout the semester i found that um i would run out of water really fast so i found myself having to buy packs of water once a week which is a lot of hassle and um i just h hate like driving to the store to get them and whatnot and also i hate wasting all the water bottles i recycled but i still just hate having all of that waste um, and it was a lot of waste. So I finally decided to use my Brita filter. I had it the whole time. I just, again, didn't like the top water taste. However, once it's filtered, you don't really taste it anymore. And especially if you put the filter in your fridge and let the top water kind of cool down, it kind of like disseminates the top water taste. So this saved me a lot of money and a lot of time. Um, so every time I ran out of water, I would just run to our kitchen and put more uh, top water in there. So I didn't have to go all the way to Target to get more water. So definitely recommend getting a water filter. Alright, next is a very big essential for me and I feel like it should be for everyone. And that is disinfecting wipes. Um, I'm a very, like, I don't know, like, I'm very, like, germophobic. I just, my major is, um, community health, which we emphasize on disinfecting and just being aware of like your surroundings and the surfaces um, so I would disinfect my dorm room about once a week again especially if you're sharing a room with another person again you don't know what they might not saying that they could be carrying a disease but you don't really want to be spreading um, any kind of infection so you want to disinfect your desk area your um, door handles your sink handles anything that you know you really touch a lot so for me i ate on my desk area which is where i did a lot of my schoolwork and everything so i didn't really like that cross contamination so i would disinfect at least once a week and i would also disinfect our door handles just because you know we kind of touch the same thing so you just want to make sure that you're safe in your disinfecting areas um and yeah so i really really recommend getting some kind of bottle of disinfecting wipes. Okay, the next thing is a rolling hamper. It's not just a hamper, it's a hamper that rolls. You can get these at Target and Walmart. They're like $15. Um, this is especially important if you live like far, if you're like farther away from your little laundry area. Um, I don't know, again, how your layout's gonna be, but for me, I lived on the third floor and I had to go down to the first floor and then through a hallway and then down the stair to our laundry room. So the hamper that I had was like those netted ones, again, from like Target, and they're the ones that you can fold up and then it pops up into a hamper. So it, it fit well in my closet because my closet was really small. However, um, I would always do my laundry when it was really packed because I hate doing laundry. So I make sure that I have a lot of clothes before I go and do laundry. But then it gets really, really heavy and then I have to throw it on my back and then you look like a crazy person carrying your hamper on your back down three floors, down the hallway, down the stairs. Um, so it would be really, really handy to have a rolling hamper because then you don't have to uh, worry about the hassle of carrying a very heavy hamper. And then also you have to consider that you're going to be carrying your detergent, which adds extra weight. So it's great if you guys have an elevator so you can use the elevator instead of using the rolling hamper down the stairs. Um, so I would really recommend getting a rolling hamper if you guys would like to opt out of just a regular hamper. Okay, again, this one is kind of random and um, it's very common, but it's very important. And that is a stapler. Like, you don't think you're going to need it, but you definitely will need it, especially in college when you have like five page papers due and you just printed them like right before class and you haven't stapled them and you need to turn them in. A stapler is very, very useful. Um, I had one, a small cheap one from Walmart for like $2.00. And I dropped it in class and I totally forgot to grab it at the end of class. And then the next day when I came back, my stapler was gone because I'm pretty sure someone saw it and they needed it. So they probably just took it. But a stapler is very handy or else you're going to find yourself asking your classmates for a stapler or your professor, which doesn't look good. Um, so definitely just get any small, cheap 
um, stapler and just having your backpack all of the time because you're definitely going to be needing it. Alright, so two more college dorm essentials um, left. The second to the last one is a shoe shelf or you can get like a sweater shelf but for me I really found that a shoe shelf was really handy. The ones that I'm talking about are the ones that fold up and then they kind of like open up. The one that I got was from Target. It was less than $10. You can get them at Walmart, um, Bath and Body Works or like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. If you guys saw my dorm tour and I showed my closet a little bit and I kind of showed you guys how I used it. It's really handy because most of the closets are really really small um, and then with this expanding shelf you can put all your shoes. You can put like two shoes in one shelf. You can also put like your socks, roll up your sweaters and put them in there, roll up your jeans and put them in there. Um, just any way to utilize more room in your closet. So I really recommend getting one of those. And then the last item, I have never seen anyone talk about it, but for me, it was so, so useful. Especially if you're planning on go going grocery shopping a lot and planning on going home a lot or like taking stuff back home. Um, and that is a like shopping roller. I don't really know what the correct term for it is, but I just call it a shopping roller like basket or whatever. Um, but I got mine for my mom and you can get them. I, f I found them at Ikea. I'm pretty sure you can get them at like um, Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure, but I'll try to find some for you. But definitely I know Ikea has them. And these are just super, super handy because I go grocery shopping like once a week because again, I cook for myself. And again, I live on the third floor, so I don't really want to be doing like three trips and I don't want to be carrying like 10 bags each arm and killing myself. So this shopping roller thing was so useful. You just put all of your groceries in it and then you can go ahead and take the elevator up to your room and you're pretty much done. And also I did go home a lot on the weekend, so I went home probably like every other weekend. And I need to pack clothes and I pack my laptop, my laptop charger, um, my camera sometimes. And it's just really good to have this um, rolling little thing that you can put everything in and just roll it to your car. Especially if you're parking farther away from your residential area. A lot of college students take their clothes back home to wash or whatever. And I just see a lot of people struggling with like carrying their laundry um, hampers and everything. And it's just super crazy because if you have this shopping roller then you don't have to Go through that struggle so again this is a very big essential especially if you plan on growing grocery shopping a lot and just going back home a lot or just need something to hold all of your items okay in. so that's it for my college essential video I hope you guys found this video helpful I for sure will need all of these items again for the upcoming semester so if you guys have any questions about college or anything in general just let me know down below and I will answer them in my next college series videos and just stay tuned for more college videos if you guys are subscribe make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out and if you guys haven't entered my giveaway yet I have a giveaway um, that's I will be giving away like a planner and some things from the Target dollar spot I'll leave the link down to the giveaway as well I think there's like a week left so definitely go check it out and enter if you guys are interested but um thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and um, subscribe if you're not and I'll see you guys in my next video bye